E.T. Phone Home. Roby, say what? Don't worry, it will make sense. I hope. What do you think of when you hear the name Alienware? Overpriced hardware, a substantial sub-brand of Dell, a clothing line designed specifically for beings that are out of this world, or of this world, but just with really high fashion sense? Well, we are here to talk about the Alienware M15 R6 gaming laptop. And a little spoiler alert, it comes pretty darn close to being an outer-worldly gaming machine. And by the way, that buttery smooth finish on this laptop, like a baby's bottom. Well, if babies were made out of smooth whatever material they were using on this thing. <laughs> Alienware was founded in 1996, and its name derives from the founder's infatuation to the show The X-Files. And by the way, who doesn't love The X-Files? I mean, am I right? We love you, Mulder and Scully. We miss you. Please come back. Well, back in 2006, Alienware was later purchased by Dell in March. Dell currently had their XPS line of gaming PCs and laptops, but when Alienware was integrated, the XPS line of desktop was eliminated, and the XPS line of gaming laptop was consolidated to make Alienware its premier brand. Now, the Alienware M17X was Dell's first Alienware slash Dell branded gaming laptop, and it was released in 2009. And let me tell you, that boy was thick. I mean, powerful, but thick like triple C thick. Now fast forward to present day and the laptop we're talking about here today. That is the Alienware M15 R6. It's a 15 inch gaming laptop that to be honest, really exceeded our expectations. Alienware hasn't really impressed us that much, but this one, well, let's dive in a little bit, shall we? Oh, and speaking of diving in, if you're digging this content, see, diving, digging, <laughs> and you wanna see more just like it, make sure you like and subscribe so you can see more just like this. Oh, also stay tuned until the end of the video and see how you can win some cold hard cash and also help us at the same time. Now let's look around the outside of the laptop before we jump into the configuration and benchmarks. The laptop that we have is the dark side of the moon finish. I always wondered what that finish looked like, and let me tell you, I like it. This finish consists of a dark core interior that removes distraction and provides an aesthetically pleasing side profile to hide all of the ports, holes, and vents. The paint design on the plastic is a stain resistant and highly silky smooth finish. Let me tell you, really silky smooth. And I am super digging the laptop in general, both from an aesthetic standpoint and a functional standpoint. Now it is your typical 15 inch screen on the laptop corner to corner. It's made of premium plastic all around with the finish we mentioned. The laptop sits at 0.9 inches or 22.85 millimeters tall with the lid shut, 14 inches or 356 millimeters wide, and 10.73 inches or 272.5 millimeters in depth. And it weighs about 5.93 pounds, like the size of like a bowling ball. Now comparing to this is like our Asus Tough F17, obviously the Asus sits higher with a 17 inch display, but the Alienware weighs more as the Asus checks in at 5.73 pounds. Now it may not seem like a lot, but it's definitely noticeable when you pick them both up. Now the M15 is not shy of any ports here either. It comes with three USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A ports with two on the side and one on the rear and one RJ45 Ethernet port that is one gigabit per second rated and dubbed Alienware's killer E2600 on the side. It also has one headset jack, one HDMI 2.1 output in the rear, one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type C port that includes Thunderbolt 4, display port 1.4 and power delivery with 15 watts of output capabilities. And finally, the power port is on the rear as well. So you're not gonna see cords hanging off the side of the laptop. The cords will flow smoothly out of the rear. I mean, what else flows smoothly out of the rear? Eh. <laughs> All right, enough about the exterior of the laptop. Let's open it up and get into the good stuff. Now, when we open the lid, we are greeted with a backlit keyboard that is RGB, and you can control it with the proprietary software that Alienware gives you installed on the PC or the laptop. It's still a personal computer. Anyway, the keys, the keys, I, I have to say this. In conjunction with the Cherry MX, Alienware has developed keys for the M15 R6 that give you the Cherry Switch feeling 
and it is an absolute treat to type on. And it may not be for everyone as keyboards are honestly very subjective. But if you do pick this laptop up, give the keyboard a try. Not that you wouldn't give the keyboard a try. I mean, I, could, you, could you see it? I bought the laptop, but I refuse to use the keyboard. I'm just gonna type with my face. Well, that would still be using the keyboard. Now checking out the audio, as laptops in general tend to have less than stellar audio. The M15 does get loud, but distortion kicks in when it goes all the way up. And it does sound a bit tinny at times. Now an external headset is warranted to play games on this, but if you're using it for like listening to YouTube or Robitech live streams, which you should be doing all the time, then you are in great shape as voice and sound is crisp and more than good enough for casual use. All right, enough about the exterior and interior of the outside of the case, let's talk about internals and what powers the M15 R6. Now the model we tested had the following specs. For the CPU, it had the 11th gen core i7-11800H. For the GPU, we had an RTX 3080 mobile GPU, oh, oh. a one terabyte NVMe SSD along with 32 gigabytes of DDR4 in a two by 16 configuration at 3200 megahertz. So that means we got dual channel and all the fun stuff. It also has Wi-Fi 6 or Wi-Fi AX. And finally, it's a 15.6 inch 2560 by 1440, 240 hertz, whoa, what? Display which you can also opt in for 360 hertz, probably a bit overkill. Now currently Amazon has the same system for 2313.45 as of the time of our recording. Now, if you don't want all of that power or you want something cheaper in general, you will absolutely have the ability to configure the device on Dell's website or even on Amazon and buy like the M15 R6 with like a 3050 Ti, a 3060, or even a 3070, which is all cheaper than the 3080 model. Now, remember that you will end up sacrificing things such as going down to 16 gigs of RAM or even eight gigs of RAM and even all the way down to a 256 gig NVMe SSD. Ain't no Call of Duty going on that machine. Now that we've discussed all the specs and goodies the M15 R6 has, let's talk about the performance. For single player games, we tested the following games at 1440p and the highest preset. We did three runs and came up with an average on each of the games. That was Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Metro Exodus, Borderlands 3, and God of War. For Shadow of the Tomb Raider, we saw an average of 130 frames per second at 1440p. During our runs, the CPU temp never got above 75 degrees Celsius and the GPU never got above 80. A little high on the GPU, but 80 degrees Celsius is respectable in the gaming laptop genre. I mean, if you aren't getting 90, let's go. Now for Metro Exodus at 1440p, highest preset and ray tracing on high, we saw an average of 79 frames per second on the three runs we did. The CPU hit 90 degrees and stayed there while the GPU hit 80 degrees. This is warm, the CPU was at 90, but the fans ramped up to full speed and the M15 never thermal throttled. We did something a little bit different for Borderlands 3 as we used the built-in benchmark. We ran 1440p and 1080p, both at the highest preset, and both were three runs to come up with an average. For 1440p, we averaged 74 frames per second with a CPU temp of 68 and a GPU temp of 78. Pretty respectable. For 1080p, we saw 94 frames per second with a CPU temp of 65 and a GPU temp of 73. Now, we jumped 20 frames per second just by playing at 1080p and saw a drop in thermals from three to five degrees on both the CPU and GPU. Now, this is the only game we tested like this. Would you like to see more like this, the 1440p versus 1080p? Let us know down in the comments below. We'd love to see what your feedback is on this kind of testing. Now, on to the final single player game we tested. It was the critically acclaimed God of War. Again, at 1440p on the highest preset, we saw an average of 80 frames per second on the three runs we did. You can see that even at 1440p on the M15, with the 3080, you can get very respectable and downright just awesome scores. But Roby, I'm like the multiplayer guy. What kind of games did you test for someone like me who was interested in this laptop? Well, we ran three different multiplayer Battle Royale style games at low visual settings at 1440p. The three games we tested were Apex Legends, Call of Duty Warzone, and Fortnite, because what is benchmarking if Fortnite's not involved? For Apex Legends at 1440p low visual settings, we saw an average of 163 frames per second. Wait a minute, Roby. You're telling me that you got 163 frames per second on Apex Legends at 1440p with low visual settings on the M15? Now, if we compare that to the recent Acer Nitro, we got 98 frames per second on that. Now, during our testing, we saw the CPU temp creep up to 82 degrees and the GPU temp was at 85. Still under 90, but we definitely like to see these things be a little bit lower, but we'll chat temps a little bit later. 
Now moving right along to Call of Duty Warzone, we saw an average of 96 frames per second. And if you know COD, 96 is very good at 1440p with low visual settings. Now the temps were well within range during this test at 75 degrees for the CPU and 79 for the GPU. For a game that's not really optimized for anything, we're happy with the final result. Now finally, Fortnite. On the three runs at 1440p with low visual settings, we saw an average of 195 frames per second, destroying all the other games in benchmark scores that we know of. CPU and GPU temps were in the low to mid 70s, so no issues whatsoever there. And that is it, the Alienware M15 R6 and all the internals and benchmarks you can fathom. The benchmarks were great, but the temps on some of the games were a little warm, but Alienware does a nice job of having the fans ramp up to cool them down. A lot of factors could come into play here. Is the laptop sitting on a surface like a pillow that engulfs the fan grate on the bottom? If so, you could always buy one of those cool cooling pads on Amazon for around $30 to $40, which we have linked down in the description below. If you have that with like RGB and you also have the light around the back, it looks a little bit like the Millennium Falcon flying around. Now, one thing I didn't mention, and I needed to, is the power brick, which is huge, by the way like half the laptop size huge. This isn't meant to be a real laptop, but more a very small desktop replacement. And even with those temps, this thing runs great. There isn't thermal throttling, and when you are buying a laptop like this, you aren't looking for desktop temps. If you are, then you're looking in the wrong place. Now, the age-old question, do I actually recommend it? The answer is yes. The benchmarks are tremendous. The laptop screams premium, and to be honest, Every bit of it justifies the 2300 price tag it comes with. In fact, the Razer Blade 14 we reviewed a while back is more expensive and performs worse than the M15. Even with the temps, which is very normal for most gaming laptops at this power, it is absolutely fine. The only thing I would say in closing is this is an absolutely great laptop, but you need to go in with the right expectations with this laptop i.e. it is a small desktop replacement. This is a true portable gaming rig. And as long as you can take it somewhere where you can plug it in while gaming, then this is an A++. But what do you think about this laptop after the video? Tell us and maybe even win a little cash in the process. First and foremost, you need to leave a quality comment down below along with liking and subscribing to the channel. When I say quality comment, it doesn't need to be positive, it just needs to be something you liked or didn't like about the video. What surprised you about the laptop? What surprised you about the temps? Whatever. Just not I deserve to win, can I has a free PC, or even something else similarly lame. You also need to ensure that you have a way for us to reach you via your YouTube profile like your email, so make sure there's an email in your YouTube profile. We will be giving away $25 to one lucky comment below that is worldwide, by the way, as long as you can accept PayPal or Venmo. Now, did you like this laptop? Did you like the video and was the review helpful? Were you surprised by our response to this Alienware? What are your closing thoughts on the Alienware M15 R6 after watching our review? We would love to know all of that down in the comments below. Now, while you're down there, make sure you slap that subscribe button with that like button and ring that notification bell so you get a notification each and every time we post a new video right here on Robitech. Did you know that we have a live stream channel and this isn't even our main channel? That's right. If you wanna go see special builds and events, check out Robitech Live down in the description below so you can like and subscribe to know when we go live over there. Actually, probably most of you, 260,000 of you, are already doing that. Now, do you have questions about this laptop or any other tech-related questions? Then check out our amazing Discord server filled with other tech and PC enthusiasts that love to share their thoughts and ideas on these very subjects. Are you looking for cheap tech? Then check out at robytechdeals.com or at robytechdeals on Twitter. We have our guy Tom scouring the internet for the best deals on all things from tech to PCs to games to components to televisions. Finally, you can also follow me and my entire team on all the socials at Robitech everywhere. We hope you absolutely enjoyed this video and we look forward to seeing you on the next one.